did I tell you to try and look deeply into the crystals and become one with the hollow squirrel? You must, you must try. On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we are exploring Godzilla X Kong, the new empire, hollow earth crystals with monsters inside. Oh, this crystal tray is enchanting the squirrels. What could possibly be inside these beautiful, shiny, pretty colorful crystals? Inside four monsters to collect from Godzilla X Kong. What could they be? How do we determine? Is it color? Is it shape? Is it number? What? What's in there? How do we figure these out? But they're going to be fun to see. Also exploring the Titan Evolution Godzilla. So one of the most interesting Godzilla figures this year is the removable skin. We remove the skin of old Godzilla to uncover the evolved form underneath. Also joining in today, Ultimate Titan King Ghidorah too. So kind of a fun throwback there. Lots of interesting things today in the Hollow Earth Crystals. Join along as we discover, hopefully, rare gold-dipped Godzilla. Why would he be gold dipped? That King Ghidorah would be gold dipped. Who writes this? Please like, share, and subscribe. And so we begin with, we begin with this very beautiful Hollow Earth crystal display. Isn't it so pretty? I can't, I can't but not, not stare, stare deeply, deeply into, into the Hollow the Earth, Earth crystals, crystals getting, getting myself, myself dizzy of finding, of finding all four monsters, monsters inside. inside. If it's only four, then I, I kind of overbought the crystals, but they were so pretty. They were so enchanting. Did I tell you to try and look deeply into the crystals and become one with the hollow squirrel? You must, you must try. All right, we must finally test a crystal immediately. I've had these way too long in stasis. They have been in stasis too long. Probably one of the coolest blind packages I've seen in a while. Godzilla x Kong the New Empire. Surprise monster inside. We've got Kong raging there. We've got Shimo over on the side there. Collect four down below. Over there we've got Godzilla Evolved. We've got Scar King. All sorts of great package work. I'm looking for a code, but I don't see one yet. A code would be nice in collecting the four without getting, like, say, five Scar Kings in a row. You can look through the hollow earth and maybe determine a shape. Uh, I'm gonna say maybe monkey. I don't see a Zilla tail. I think we're just gonna have to open this first one as our test run. Ah, even more vibrant without the packaging. Very quite sharp. And so to remove, just slide out and behold another Another, Another fantastic, fantastic crystal, crystal of time of hollow. When was the last time you beheld such a crystal or have had some orange Fanta? Um, oh, okay, it's crunchy. Actually, I believe this might be Zilla. I see a tail formation. We may have started with Zilla. We crack open and it is Zilla evolved. Godzilla evolved minifigure. How many are we talking? Pretty squirrel scale, stretching in at about two and an eighth in height. Whoop. Don't think Zilla liked that. For Microzilla miniature, fairly detailed. We've got the green body, greenish blue body with the new pinkish scales going down back. The teeniest and tiniest of eye imprint and arms ready to give a squirrel a hug. Fun display there though, inside the crystal we probably could remove this shell, maybe, and thus contain Zilla again inside. It's a really striking container. The orange is Jurassic Park amber-esque in a way, although it's starting to <laughs> unsplit apart. I think for now I'll leave these in. I kind of like these, they look really neat. Placing yonder, and we go again. There are four beautiful hollow earth crystals to choose from. We just did orange, there's also red, purple, and blue. Maybe that's the code, maybe that's the code. So we will try a blue, let's try out a blue. Deep and pretty hollow earth crystal blue. Any guesses? Any guesses, anyone? 
Well, if we get in closer, I see possibly ape. I see two legs and two arms established. Very hominoidian. Although on this side, I see talion. Could be a tail back there. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. Let's split the crystal and find, find what we have found. Oh, it does none other than the Scar King. We've seen before now in several scales, first huge giant, then in basic figure form, and now in micro form. These guys will shrink over the buildings of Micro Machine City. Good paintwork, better paintwork, I would say, with the Scar King actually being able to identify whiplash around his body pretty well, painted pretty well. Uh, an orangish body plastic uh, with some white gradient paintwork going down the arms and face. A little closer in now. So yeah, for the scale of figure, pretty well detailed. Very much like a like a squirrel. So if you're thinking, well maybe from the bottom I can decipher the shape. Well it's really funny because the shape at the bottom here of the inner crystal is almost exactly the same uh, at the bottom here. They've done really well masking and hiding who could be inside. I'm going to continue to go on with the color theory. So I will now thusly pull a red crystal from the absolutely beautiful crystal color palette. And it wouldn't be the end of the world to get an army of microzillas. Speaking of microzillas, this could just be one, another one. I'm detecting another tail like formation on the front there with spines, very much what you would see from Zilla. I'm feeling like this will be another Zilla. We will see. We will see. And it is. Our second Zilla destroying, destroying the color crystal theory of who is in each container. My Zilla army grows. Two evolved Zillas, they're twins, Zilberry and Zilbari. Kinda wishing there was only more than four characters. Where is a few others? Uh, let's try, we have not tried purple yet. Let's try the purple crystal. See what we can uncover this time. Okay, in peering through the top part of the crystal, I think you may have the best identification uh, yet of what it could be. I don't think this is going to be either Zilla or the Scar King based off this little arm that's kind of coming out from the... If you can peer and see that arch, that smiley arch worm that's coming up from below. So now that I'm getting more accustomed to the package, I might, I might be able to identify these based off the shapes of the top of the, uh, the inner shells. I'm thinking this might be a Shimu. Another beautiful purple crystal peering right through. And, okay, I think I've got a Shimu here. It is, yes, I was able to identify one. So if you can peer in and see these this arm hook right here at top. The other two did not have an arm hook. You've got yourself a Shimu. And uh, Shimu's almost impossible to see on the table. Hang on. I think it's because it's stark white body just, just freezes right into the table. There is Shimo. Hard to find in figure form. So looking for a micro figure, this might be your way of finding one. Nicely painted down the back of purple, blue, violet, something. But mostly, mostly in white. Really hard to see. Kind of a rigidy flexiness to these. They're looking good. So now just one remains, one remains. Let's see if I can ID these. Uh, okay, so this one has a lump up top, which I believe is the same lump I saw above Scar King. Scar King has a giant rockish thing above his head. This cloudy like thing. You can kind of see this huge shape. That's what I'm seeing with this one but it could be a decoy. Then on this blue, what do I see? I see another one, so it could be very similar, but maybe both Kong and Scar King have a bump. And I think that might be the case because all of these have a giant bump. So you need to look deeper for Kong. So if you notice the shape of Scar King, he's got one arm raised high, and you can actually see that in the imprint there. It's raised high on this side, so you're gonna have to look for two arms down, I believe. This figure here has an arm up, I think. This next one here. Uh, 
I believe has an arm down. Let's see if I saw that right. I think I see an arm down if I peer in deeply. And, oh no, I think I may have got another Zilla. How did I totally bungle that? And it is another Zilla. How funny, I totally thought I was seeing arms there. Zilla, you're confusing me. Okay, don't forget, there's Godzilla's in here too. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can ID this one. I've got a huge lumpy rock up top. Oh, and it's so dark in there. I see two legs. I believe this, this has got to be Kong. Kong identification gone wrong, right? And so, I've got Zilla's spilling all over the table here. My army of Zilla. And, and, okay, look at that. Two arms going down, hidden by the rock above. So you gotta look in there and see those arms going down. Maybe from below you can see his two feet and a couple arms down. This has got to be Kong. And it is. So Kong has joined the collection. Micro Kong and maybe the best for last. I think they've done the best with Kong. He's got his beast glove in yellow painted nicely on one arm. Scratches across his chest. A very well identifiable mouth opening with teeth painted. Tummy a softer brown than the rest. I feel like they did the best with this one. I almost feel like this one could have been articulated too. Especially on that beast glove arm. There's a little bit of a point there, but I'm sure I'll probably just break it. So there is your cast of the Hollow Earth Crystals. Really too bad only four miniatures. Uh, they should have had a... We could have certainly seen an unevolved Godzilla. Suko might have been too small. Maybe a vehicle or something would have been fun. Something from the human verse. But there's your collection. Pretty good. Got a couple left over. Maybe I will save those for later. I really like this display box I was able to swipe. Uh, I like to be able to reuse uh, display in this situation. I could take these crystals and, and place them into the box. And of course you could replace your characters into the boxes too. But for now, I'll have them running about across the table. Which thus brings in Titan Evolution Godzilla, one of the greatest looking fun Godzilla X Kong figures that I've been most, most wanting to see to be able to tear the flesh of old Godzilla onto new, off of onto new. I think it's a great concept, so we're gonna figure this one out. A little tricky to find this one, it's not always available on shelf, but keep an eye out, it usually appears somewhere on the pegs next to everything. You can obviously tell it's the one you want because the skin is super stretchy on the outside. It's super gooey. It's like, what is going on here? Peel skin to reveal Godzilla evolved underneath. This one is just beyond peely over here on the back. Two figures and one. I'm curious if the figure underneath is probably going to be almost similar to what we saw in the basic figure release. Uh, it's gotta be really close. Let's get this out of pack. Oh, he's squishy. It's like Godzilla in a giant raincoat. It's very squishy. And for the most part, for the concept, I think pulls off pretty well. You can It feels like Godzilla, right? When he's this big and hulking. And you can still possibly get some articulation in there from underneath. The character underneath is going to play all that movement still. It might spring back a little bit because it's so thick. This giant galasha he's wearing. And so there you have a very cool unevolved Zilla. So to evolve, we currently have his front cover nice and closed up. You kind of fit it underneath, uh, tuck it underneath. But then when you're ready to evolve, kind of just peel this open. And then you're going to want to stretch. Stretch. Oh, look at there. Godzilla is Godzilla for Halloween. That's not at all weird. And we'll just continue. Maybe work on these arms next. Reach them around, pull. Be a little careful with seams. You don't want to start tearing uh, a seam because this type of plastic could begin to un, un uh, hinge itself. Oh, that's even more weird looking. What are you doing, Zilla? This is a great fidget toy. Take this with you somewhere when you're bored and you need to dress Godzilla up. Is this how the evolved scene looks in the movie, I hope? Oh boy, that's gonna be just bizarre. Um, I doubt. 
and continue to peel off his skin. Ah, his tail is on a ball joint wire. Interesting, that must help it fit into the back end of this. Oh gosh. And, and, got it. We have removed. And once you got that, get that tail back into position on ball joint. And almost looks identical, maybe to the Zilla we saw earlier. Now, if you're into the hollow earth, everybody meet hollow Godzilla. <laughs> He's actually holding up pretty well. Look at that, his body for being, you know, an empty skeleton. Oh, he's not feeling very well. You okay? Hold him up, look how springy he is. <laughs> okay, this is fun. This is the funnest thing ever. All right, I totally recommend seeking this one out if you're a Zilla fan. Oh, there he goes. So there's Hollow Zilla. You could possibly stick like secrets inside there uh, if you want to hide that. Um, but look at there, there's our Zilla figure too. Unhollow Zilla. So this Zilla up on two legs, evolved in the new color palette like we saw in the minis. A little more green, aqua, with some pink scalage going down. A little more trimmed and athletic. How are we looking compared to our basic figure release? Pretty similar, if not the same figure. I would say some paint detail changes, a little more red on this one. That just might vary from paint to paint. Oh, they removed the little fins over his elbows. That was probably an easy touch to help it slide out of the galasha suit. And the tail. Painted a little better. I like how the paintwork goes down on this one. It's a little more precise. This one was just splat and a lot more spiky. So they so they reduced some of the spikiness on this tail so that he could fit into the suit. So there's, there's some little differences, but otherwise pretty close. And it was fun. It was quite fun. I don't know how to even go about redressing this one. So I'll, I'll just leave it, I'll just leave it um, evolved <laughs> for a while. Whoa. All right, last surprise of the day. I ran into a Playmates Toys Monsterverse Godzilla King of the Monsters Ultimate Titan King Ghidorah. Can you say that 10 times fast? With battle damage reveal. Not sure when this figure debuted. I've got a 2023 on the lower date here. It was discovered just with the other Godzilla vs. Kong items over at Target. Although sometimes you see these specialty figures over in the specialty figures by Electronics. Maybe that's where it originated and just kind of traveled over to the toy aisle. But I'm excited to see this one as previous King Ghidorah was pretty weak from Bandai. So I think this is an awesome Titan to redo from Playmates Toys. Let's get out of pack. Ah, some assembly required. And there's always like 300 stages of Ghidorah. Let's just check out the main body here first. What I like is these heads have a little more articulation to them. Do they have a wire? I don't think they really have a wire inside. They just, they just move better and we'll bring out Bandai's in just a second. Let's add these tails on first. Does it matter which tail goes on where? They look pretty much the same. Yeah, I'm just gonna guess here and go with that one and that one. Oh, and the other one fell off. Then wing installation, let's hope these hold tight. And some battle damage up front. Repaired. And so there is the Playmates Toys Monster vs. King Ghidorah. Quite a space encompassing figure, measuring in at about almost eight inches tall at those top wing points. And hard to say the width, about eight, nine, ten inches. The wings are not hinged, but they certainly separate out quite a bit. There's fun good articulation with this one on each of the necks. There's a point at the lower point and upper point. We can move each of the heads around on little balls joints. The hinges on the legs give us some tuck down reach if you can balance. Those wings are nicely placed so that I'm getting some pretty good balance. And then the tails on the back also with some ball jointage. Mostly just in gold though, with no secondary paint. I can't detect maybe a little bit, eh, maybe a little bit of paint down his spines, but it's mostly just in gold. Mostly just in gold plastic. To compare, I said Bandai earlier, but I guess it was Jack Specific that did the King of the Monsters line. Here it is, fumbling on in. 
This one, uh, well, we do have wing, we do have some wing articulation, which is nice. But I had so much trouble with this one. Heads fall off really easily, maybe for battle damage. And just overall clumsy. Uh, the plastic style is tighter, more rigid. There's a little softerness to the plastic here, which I like. Um, this one just was clumsier. It's clumsier. Not a horrible figure by any means. I mean, I do like the flappiness of the wings on hinges here. But I feel like I'm going to have a little more ease with this new Playmates one to sub on in if I need a King Ghidorah. I would go with that one. And in this situation, I think it's going to work pretty well with all these minis. Mini King Ghidorah versus the Hollow Earth Miniature Army. Several Godzillas coming on in for an attack. Ooh, nicely done, guys. And there you go with the Godzilla X Kong the New Empire Hollow Earth Crystal Set. Pretty fun. They were so shiny and colorful. Uh, fun to go through. I wish there was just a couple more minis in each one. That would have really enhanced. But a fun, fun to have a little extra, to have extra crystals to kind of recreate a Hollow Earth environment for your Godzilla X Kong uh, New Empire stuff. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel live, squam at your favorite Hollow Earth crystal we saw today. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that. Hmm. Uh. Whoa!